Hello brothers and sisters, today is April 20th, 2020, and um, yesterday um, I shared some things, and I'm just going to replay this video, and then I'm going to um, show you an article I came across, Holy Spirit basically connected the dots with some things, and um, so here we go. Hey, brothers and sisters, today is April 19th, 2020, and I'm just going to replay this video um, that I did earlier today, and I'm going to share something with you I just found out about, so here it is. Hello, brothers and sisters, today is April 19th, 2020. And I was going through a notebook last night, and on February 19th of 2020, I had a vision of a man, and he was dressed in a white military uniform, so he was Navy. And then I saw the words, Rick Warren. And I had actually, I had forgotten about this vision, so when I came across it last night, this morning, I was kind of just Googling stuff and seeing what I could find. And right, I just, um, I typed in Navy Rick Warren and a whole bunch of articles came up. And this article is from September 23rd, 2013. And it's basically, it's talking about, I guess, the shooting that happened in a Navy yard, in a Washington Navy yard, and 12 people were killed. And I guess... Um, Rick Warren and his wife Kay gave a lengthy interview to Piers Morgan on CNN. Rick Warren is perhaps the best known clergyman in the country, the founder of the Saddleback Church in Lake Forest, California. And I guess his son um, had committed suicide with a gun. So he was talking about that and some other things. Um, so I guess the shooting happened on September 16th in this Navy yard. So I'm not really sure um, why the Lord showed me that, um, but I just wanted to put this out there. Um, not really sure what this is about. Obviously it involves guns and a pastor. So, I shared all of this with my husband, and after I did the video and everything, um, I also told a brother in Christ, I was just, you know, trying to ponder on why the Lord showed me this, and in my spirit, I was like, is the Lord trying to tell me that, like, there's going to be a mass shooting, you know, and um, so I just found out, like, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes ago that I guess today, April 19th, in Canada, there was a mass shooting and 10 people were killed. So, Just found this very interesting um, because I was literally feeling like that's what the Lord was the message was overall of what, what this was but I still feel like there's more layers to it I don't know if it's about maybe gun control and then the whole Rick Warren thing I feel like there's still layers to it but um, so I just wanted to um, share this and also you know, today is April 19th, and I shared not long ago that um, dream I had of President Trump with his daughter Ivanka. Everyone thought her birthday had passed. I saw a calendar with no month on it, just the numbers 15 through 19. And then Trump said out loud, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And he yelled 19 really loud. Well, 
on top of this happening today, um, today, I guess, apparently, Trump announced that he will be investigating um, that Dr. Fauci. And also, I guess he announced something about possibly reopening the country. Um, upon awakening from that dream, the Lord said, keep your eyes on Trump. So that's what's happened today on top of this right here. Um, yeah, so... So, I really hate sharing things like this, just like I really hate sharing stuff about the Noahide laws. But I think what the Lord is really saying, it, it's not about just, you know, gun control or, you know, I think the biggest layer of it is this. And... I'm going to attach this article below, and I, I really don't even want to read it. Um, Trump yelled, 19. And in the vision I had of seeing a man in a white military um, clothing, then I saw, I saw Trump. And he had like a grimace kind of expression on his face. But then that changed into a sly smile. So. This wasn't just about a, a mass shooting. The Lord wasn't just saying this is this is just about a mass shooting. He was saying this is what these people do. April 19th, 25th, 30th, and it goes all the way to May 1st, apparently. So, like I said, I didn't really want to, I don't like to share stuff like this, but I know it was from the Lord trying to show the truth. Um, no matter what, what's going on with all these people and, and the evil and the darkness in this world, God is in control and he's going to take us out of here just in time. I love you guys. Keep looking up. Trust no man. Trust only in the Lord.